Renewable energy plays a key and growing role in solving our energy and environmental challenges. The most common renewable sources of U.S. electricity are hydropower, which provides about 6%, and solar and wind power, which are growing and currently supply about 5%. So why not use more solar and wind energy? The short answer is that we can, and will in time. The biggest unanswered questions for solar and wind are, how do we power our homes and businesses when the sun doesn't shine? And what do we do when or where the wind doesn't blow? Just like a battery-powered flashlight provides light when the power goes out, energy can be stored to use during the times when these intermittent renewables are not able to produce power. Batteries are getting better and are at work in some solar homes today, but there's still plenty of room for improvement. Modern batteries are not able to store the enormous amount of energy required to supplement a solar and wind-powered electric grid. Without energy to fill the gap, the vast majority of us would not be able to refrigerate or freeze our food, heat our homes or water, and most of our employers would not be able to keep us on the job. Natural gas fills that void left by solar and wind in a way that other energy sources cannot. Just like a gas grill starts and stops much more quickly than its charcoal counterpart, natural gas electric power plants can start and stop quickly to meet demand. So at night, or when power from solar or wind suddenly drops off, natural gas is there to protect you and your family from a blackout. Other challenges with large-scale solar and wind projects include where to place them and where to build new transmission lines needed to get the electricity to where most of the people are. We support the growth of renewable energy and applaud those working to solve these challenges. We are also proud to supply natural gas and the security, jobs and prosperity that come with it to businesses and families across North America.